Greetings and welcome to the introduction to astronomy. One of the things that I like to do in each of my introductory astronomy classes is to begin the class with the astronomy picture of the day from the NASA website that is apod.nasa.gov apod. And today's picture for November 20th of 2022, well, it is titled Air Glow Ripples Over Tibet. So what do we see here? Well, the patterns that we see in the sky are called air glow. And it's actually a process close to what we call have for the aurora, except that it does not occur just at a specific locations on Earth. And in fact, air glow can be visible anywhere on Earth. The aurora are caused by charged particles from the sun, which are focused along the magnetic field line, striking the Earth's atmosphere at latitudes very close to the north and south poles. So we tend to see them at very far uh, north latitudes and very far south latitudes. The air glow, on the other hand, is what they call a chemiluminescence, actually caused by interactions through the same molecules. In, in many cases, can give us the same colors that we see uh, with an aurora. However, caused by a different process than what we see with the aurora. And here we can see that it's actually more of a chemical reaction that is causing this to occur. Now, as the particles are not as focused as they would be in the aurora, the, uh, the air glow is not as visible and as bright as the aurora can be. So while it can be seen all over Earth, and it occurs at all times of day and night, it's generally only seen at night because it is so faint relative to the sun in the sky that it would be completely invisible during the day. However, in this case, where it is seen after a thunderstorm, and we see different what we call gravity waves in the atmosphere that give us this distinct pattern and a pattern that we see in the sky. And we end up with nearly this bullseye type pattern in the sky. Now, when we say gravity waves here, that is quite different than gravitational waves that we talk about, which we detect from rapidly moving very massive objects like black holes many billions of light years away as they coalesce together. This is actually just an atmospheric effect caused by gravity here on Earth. So while we call it gravity waves, it is quite different than gravitational waves, which we have looked at previously. But the air glow, again, is visible any place on Earth. So you don't have to be at specifically uh, north or south latitudes to be able to see it. It can actually be visible anywhere. And in this case, it was imaged from Bangladesh earlier this year. So that was our picture of the day for November 20th of 2022. It was titled Air Glow Ripples Over Tibet. We'll be back again tomorrow for the next picture, previewed to be Butterfly Sky. So we'll see what that is about tomorrow. And until then, have a great day, everyone, and I will see you in class.